Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Fall, and this is from Lionsgate and director Scott Mann, who previously did films like Heist and some smaller things, but here we have a very high-concept thriller Two women climb a 2,000 foot tall radio tower and they're stuck on it and how are they going to get off? And that's the basic story, but this hour and 47 minute movie, which honestly that surprised me when I saw the runtime, I'm like, hmm, uh, it gives some time at the beginning to set up a lot of things and you have Becky, played by Grace Caroline Curry, who gives a really great performance in this. She has to show a lot of physicality, show a lot of vulnerability, and display a lot of emotional grief. Because at the beginning of the film, her and her husband, Mason Gooding, are climbing with her friend Hunter, played by Virginia Gardner, and her husband winds up falling to his death. And this puts her into a spiral. She's isolated from her dad, played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who pops up in a few scenes in this film doing his rough, tough, kind of dad vibe to it, and it works. And after a long time, Hunter finally reconnects with Becky and says, "Let you know what? Let's climb this tower. It's a crazy climb. You gotta live your life. And I feel like... Sometimes this film's messaging of, like, you gotta live your life is a little too intense for me and feeling a little overbearing because it's just, like, she lost her husband and it was a very traumatic thing and it's a very dangerous thing. But, you know, Hunter really pushes her into climbing this tower and they get up to the top and, of course, the ladder falls down and falls apart. There's a lot of tension in this film, and I think Scott Mann does a really fine job of filming that with his cinematographer, uh, McGregor, who they're able to use great shots and great angles to really maximize a lot of the tension. And this film drops a lot of little plants. Like, when they're climbing up, one foot hits... Ladder loses a nut and a bolt. Obviously, that came back. You see these vultures attacking a carcass that's still alive at that point. So, and of course, you know, they're coming back. And you have these little plants. You have this well shot um, these well shot sequences of tension and suspense. This film has that going for it. And you have these two continuously trying to, like, find different ways to start making things happen, start making things work, and whether it's trying to use their drone that they just so happen to have, there are some moments that feel a little too convenient and a little bit too, like, this was written in a movie. But in general, I think there's a lot of organic tension and organic uh, setups for sequences in this film that build that tension will keep you on the edge of your seat. There's one particular bold choice narratively that happens at one point in this film that I think I think it could work for a lot of people, but it just made me mad. Honestly, it's one of those kinds of things where it's just like, "Hey, let's rip the rug out from under you for the sake of ripping the rug out from under you." And I don't know how much the film earned that moment, but I do have to say how it's set up and everything, technically, and from a filmmaking perspective, is interesting and builds tension. I just feel like it felt like a cop-out kind of thing, and I do feel like the film goes on a little too long, but with some of those weaker aspects, there's still a really strong central performance here, and a strong uh, supporting performance because, you know, her friend Hunter is in this quite a bit because, you know, we're stuck on a tower together. But in general, I think this film has some unexpected twists and turns that I think work. Um, some bold choices that I don't think really worked. But it's a strong performance. It's well made. And it takes this high concept idea, stretches it a bit, 
but I still think offers up a decent amount of thrills for you to take advantage of. But those are my thoughts on fall. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.